Well, despite that Turkish intervention, Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that Sweden or Finland joining NATO would aggravate tensions between the Kremlin and the West. Let's get more on this from Mikhail Baranovsky, who's director of the German Marshall Fund's Warsaw office. Uh, welcome to DW. Uh, so Russia, uh, warning of consequences if NATO expands, but you've been quoting it as quoted as saying that bringing Sweden and Finland into NATO makes military confrontation with Russia less likely. How so? Absolutely. Well, Sweden and Finland joining NATO makes the alliance stronger. It makes the defense of the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, easier. Um, and therefore, the stronger we are, the more deterrence we can provide, the less likely the conflict with Russia is. And in fact, just about half an hour ago, uh, President Putin, it was reported in the Financial Times, President Putin said that he does not see a problem in Sweden and Finland joining NATO. He put a condition which, of course, will not be something that uh, the alliance will take on a face value. Uh, the condition was that NATO will not station uh, troops or build military bases in these two countries. But it, it's, he's basically walking back the tough language of a few months ago already. All right. So your, your assessment, that's a very rational assessment here. Um, and lots of this conflict has been far from rational. But you're, 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 you're content that a stronger NATO, despite uh, this being one of uh, Mr Putin's uh, bugbears, you think that will uh, keep him in his box? Well, Putin is... We have to really remember this, because that Putin is not all-powerful. He is, his forces, all the available forces are right now tied in Ukraine. He is, uh, Russia is breaking uh, its teeth on the toughness of Ukrainian defenses. Uh, and without major uh, conscription and military mobilization, Russia is not just able to threaten anyone else. So, even if he was tough in his rhetoric, and, and the rhetoric is, is getting softer, Putin does not have a way to threaten Finland and Sweden, and actually any other part of the alliance. So right. we are, again, in a, in a very good place to go forward with this enlargement. Quick word about Poland, which of course neighbours Ukraine and has received thousands of refugees. How is its increased importance in terms of security playing out? Um, well, you are absolutely right that the importance of Poland has, has increased because we here in Poland are the main land bridge to, to Ukraine. Um, all the military aid, all the humanitarian aid goes through Poland. And, and uh, many of the refugees who are, who are fleeing um, Ukraine are coming to Poland, over three million uh, as, we, as we count. So it's really a key place when it comes to support to Ukraine, but also when it comes to defense of the Baltic states. Thank you so much for joining us. Mikhail Baranowski, director of the German Marshall Fund's Warsaw office. It was a pleasure.